whatever. I got told by three people that I know of to do this. Um, they are Sail Me 90 Courtney, Talk Nerdy to Kim, Kim, and Samba Disa when I think that's how you say it, Caleb. So I'm going to do it even though I'm kind of late jumping on the bandwagon. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five. One. I read magazines and my favourite one is Nylon and sometimes I buy <laughs> multiple copies of it so I can cut up one of them and then keep the other one so I can actually read it. I watch Nylon TV on YouTube now, random book. I also read other magazines when I get the chance, like if there's something interesting on the cover then I'll probably buy a magazine, like I love Rilo Kylie so I bought Spin. Super Super, which I think is from England, Perez. And then when I'm really bored sitting around airports and there's nothing else to read or whatever, then I'll read L. To I like to support other people on YouTube if they go into another venture. Um, that's people I like. Right now I have a DVD of Four Eyed Monsters that I got from Aaron in New York. I have this zine comic from the Tales of Mere Existence guy. I, I love his videos and his comics are funny as well and it has a DVD in here. And from him I also bought, where is it gone? I got this pretty awesome t-shirt from him. Oh, his username is Agent XPQ. Check him out, he's really good. Three. I really like British comedy. Uh, I thought I'd have more to show you right now, but I've lent my friends some of my DVDs. I don't have that many. So I love Ricky Gervais. I listen to his podcast quite a bit. And I love his stand-up. I got the new one, but it wasn't that good. I was really disappointed. I, I used to watch The Office. British version is so much better than the American one. And I even have the, the scripts. <laughs> uh, I love Spaced and anything Simon Pegg, Nick Frost and Edgar Wright touch. Uh, I like Hot Fuzz too. I also like stand-up comedians and other actors. Like I made a list because I knew I was going to forget some. So, Bill Bailey, Dylan Moran, Lee Evans, Ross Noble, Stephen Fry, Alan Davies. Uh, the guys from Peep Show, David Mitchell and Robert Webb. Oh, I really want to get the Peep Show DVDs. Uh, I like The League of Gentlemen, I like Jimmy Carr. Uh, I love Joe Cornish and Adam Buxton. And I miss the Adam and Joe show a lot. Those are the only ones I can remember right now. I'm sure there are more. I don't really like Little Britain very much. I don't mind David Walliams. Matt Lucas I've never been keen on. Like he's alright. For last week I saw Avenue Q in London and it was so good I can't get it out of my head which makes it kind of awkward when I'm in public and I'm like sitting there humming to myself you're a little bit racist well you're a little bit too I guess we're both a little bit racist man again it's not an easy thing to do I guess it's true between me and you okay bye <laughs> I was struggling for my fifth fact, so I'm going to give you two, because I can do that, because I'm awesome. Kidding. Okay, um, first one is my unhealthy addiction to really bad TV shows. Um, I have a bunch of Nip Tuck box sets somewhere, I promise. I don't have really bad taste, because I do. Um, I already showed you the Office ones, and I have Spaced. But, um, I think it's safe to say, generally, my taste isn't quite up to par. Let's just check out a few. Um, I have Fraggle Rock. You need a little bit of Fraggle Rock in your life. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to show these. God. I have the Sex in the City, like, complete series. It's pink and it's sexy. It was really cheap one day and I was like, oh my god, I have to have it. And I have Daria and I have both the movies on DVD. I have the other one down there, but I'm not going to pull it out. Um, and I have a bunch of the episodes on VHS. Um, I don't know what to show you next. They're just gonna get worse if I don't whip the good ones out. Um, Life as we know it. It was awesome. Who's this made by? Look at the cute boys. Aren't they cute? Aren't they cute? Ooh! They're so cute. And the girls? Less cute. Cute boys. <laughs> and then comes my most embarrassing admission. Okay, I'm going to whip them out one at a time, hopefully in series order. So here we have the initial embarrassment, oops, <laughs> then we have more embarrassment. It pretty much just gets worse from here, you know, you can kind of see what's coming, just uh, yeah, just 
just keeps going a little bit. Yeah, we're not there yet. Just, just, okay, yeah. It's not like it's a secret. It says it on my MySpace. Then I have the two that are probably my two favourite TV shows ever. Um, my So Called Life of Bricks and Geeks. Um, and the alternative fifth fact is that um, this is what I look like without my fringe. I have eyebrows. I'm normal. I, I kind of want to grow my fringe out. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to record stuff for this. Okay, um, five people I have to tag. I'm going to tag Mr. Utahman because Bryony tagged him after I told her I was going to and we agreed that I would get to tag him and I was the one who told her that I was going to tag him in the first place and she stole him from me anyway because she's a huge bitch. <laughs> I'm also going to tag Derno. I would enjoy it if you would perhaps be doing some activity while you were making this video, Harrison. Um, perhaps raking. If there is no opportunity to be raking in your video, then I would appreciate perhaps some snow shoveling. Some kind of activity would be appreciated. Uh, I want to tag Picnic Face because I'm like their biggest fan girl now. Um, I don't care which one of you does it or on what account. I just think you guys are all hilarious, so I'd really enjoy that. Who else do I want to tag? Everyone's been tagged. You're sunk. Um, oh, I want to tag Kat Dennings because you never make new videos and I love you. I think you're brilliant. So please make one Kat Dennings and someone else. And my last one is going to be cute with Chris. Just kidding, he won't do it. Okay, Brad O'Farrell. Whatever. Five. <laughs> it's brilliant. Okay, I'm just not now.